Hey friends, Kim from Stamping in Perfection. I'm here today with a card. I'm two, actually two cards I'm making for Kind of Cute by Patricia. And this is a digital stamp store. And I'm using the new, um, her brand new Seahorse digital set. It's actually a digital set of four stamps, but I picked two that I'm using today. I'm also using these mini slimline dies that I got from Trinity stamps. These are the modern embossed panels and windows. And I'm going to use some really pretty specialty paper that I've had in my stash forever. I've got this little bit here to use and that's going to be uh, the water for the seahorse on one of the cards. And I'm going to make two mini slimline cards here. Now I've already pre-colored my images. I've got that specialty paper cut down to two and a half by five and a quarter. So I cut the black panel down to two and three quarters by five and one half. So I'm just going to attach everything together with my liquid glue. I'm having one of those days where um, I just can't seem to get three things straight lately. So I'm using my old standby Tombow Mono Liquid Adhesive because it gives me plenty of wiggle room. And that card base I cut at six by six and scored it at three inches. It's a little bit longer. I have a little bit more border on lengthwise than I do horizontally, but that's okay. It's even on the top and the bottom and it's even on the right and the left. So I'm adding, along with the digital stamps, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Patricia has digital sentiments. She's got digital pattern papers. And um, the, one of the beautiful things I love about them is that you can resize them and they store easy on my computer. I don't have to have physical space to store everything. Um, and I can, you know, rearrange things on my um my word document and I can lay out the whole card if I want to or in this case I just I just put two sentiments and two seahorses and I size them the way I wanted them and then I I just uh, colored them all in and then just trimmed everything down I used my brother's scan and cut to to cut out the pink seahorse sea and now I'm playing around with these sentiments. I decided that the sentiment on the specialty paper looks better with some black behind it and this is how I always do it. I cut, already cut down that white sentiment and I put it down on a piece of black scrap paper so that um, this is black cardstock. This is just a leftover scrap and I put it down so that it's it's on two sides that I have never cut before. Now I just take it to my trimmer and I line up the, the black edge so I can see that that's in the middle of the cutting well. And I also line that, that what's now at the bottom with one of the lines on my trimmer. So the right hand side is, is like that black cardstock is right in the well the bottom side the black card side is on the line so everything is aligned and now I can see that that black card stock is directly where it's going to cut. I can also see on that plastic piece that that white piece of paper is at the very edge of the plastic cutting piece. So that black that um, clear piece has like high points and low points and edges and I use those to align things. So by lining up the other side so that that white piece was right at the edge of the clear cutting piece there, then I cut it perfectly where I need it to go. And you can see I'm carefully lining up the cut side with that line so everything is lined up. And the white edge is lined with the edge of the cutting edge of my clear plastic piece there. You have to get to know your trimmer. Like that's my tip. Get to know your trimmer. Take an afternoon and play with lining things up in different places. And um, you'll get really good at cutting things straight and being able to trim things down so you have the same amount of border all the way around. So get to know your trimmer and practice, practice, practice. 
So I'm going to do the same thing with this piece because I, I'm going to put that on the blue layer. And again, that's scrap paper. But I do want to add a little bit of a scene on this one. I decided not to like fussy cut this one out. I decided I wanted to create a little scene. And I cut this out with that Trinity border. The, it's a slimline, a mini slimline border set, the modern embossed panels and windows. And I used the middle panel to cut this out and it gave it a really nice little embossed edge. So I'm creating some sand just by using a dark, a medium, and a light brown color. And um, I'm pulling out the marker that I used originally to make that little patch of sand. And notice I'm just using dots. Now I'll take I'm using a light color E11 in this case. I'm going over all of the dots so they kind of blend together, but I still have a lot of texture because I've used the dots. This is called stippling, and um, I love the effect. I like how I, I tried to add a little bit of an incline there so it's more realistic um, for what underwater might actually look like. At least in my head it's more realistic. So I definitely want to put this blue behind it. I'm just checking it out here. And this blue paper has uh, two sides of that I haven't cut from and that's the one, like those are the sides I'll use to line up my panel. So I'm going to create some water behind the seahorse and I'm using B12 and B14 to just create some little waves randomly around um, the randomly around the scene. I actually like this little mini slimline size because you can create a scene without having to do like a whole card. For some reason two and a half inches feels a lot less overwhelming than four and a quarter um, which I know sounds crazy. So this is BG11 and I like to fill in the rest of my water with this color. I love this color. It's just so pretty. And so I'll fill the rest in and I go over the lines I've already drawn because it helps kind of blend them into the water so it all looks like the same water. And at the end I'll end, add some gel pen details. I'll take my white gel pen and add some like dots in little tiny waves and some plus signs all over the place because that gives makes the water look sparkly. It's a little tip I got from Mindy Baxter at My Creative Scoop. She has lots of Copic classes you can take and they're wonderful. Now you can actually get this little, um, this, you can actually get a free digital stamp set from, from Patricia. If you participate in her challenge this month using one of her stamps, and she does have some freebies on her Facebook group. It's called the, the Kinda Cute by Patricia Alvarez group on Facebook. So you just go and click join group and um, you'll be added to the group. And you can, in the files section, find the freebie images. You could use one of the freebies or you could purchase one from her store at kindacutebypatricia.com. And, um, if you participate in this month's challenge, next month she'll send you the image for the month for free. So you'll get that in your email if you participate using one of her digis, whether you use a free one from her Facebook group or one you purchase from the shop. And um, that needs to be the main focus of your card. And um, this set of four digital stamps, the seahorses, is actually the freebie that she's giving out to people who participated in her um, challenge for June. They got this one in their email yesterday. Yesterday or today they'll get it. At the beginning of July you get it. So that's pretty fun. Like you can get a free digital stamp set and lucky for the people who participated last month because they actually got four images in this one stamp set so it's pretty fantastic. So I'm just gluing this all together. I trimmed it all down just like I did the sentiment. I glued my seahorse panel down first and then I um, trimmed the other two sides and uh, you know by now I'm really comfortable with this trimmer and know where 
to line things up to get the borders the way I want. And I love here I'm putting the gel pen details on and that I just go over the whole thing. And um, I have another sentiment. And now for this one, I'm just going to cut that down. And I'm going to cut this one down with scissors because I like when I do sentiments that I can cut into sentiment strips. That's why I, I sized my sentiments larger so I could cut them down into little you know two sentiment strips sometimes I do it so I can cut them down into like four sentiment strips um, but I like it when they're not cut evenly and when they're a little crooked when I put them down I think that's my favorite one of my favorite looks for sentiment strips like not having them perfect and I didn't put a um, any background paper behind this one I liked the white with the water and I now I'll put some sequins down sorry about that I don't know what happened there um, I'm using some Catherine Pooler sequins these are called Portsmouth I think this is one of her newer releases and because I haven't had them very long there's a lot left in that container and so I'm just going to add a few to the top of that and I'll add them with my art glitter glue and I'll use my Maker Forte Magic Wand tool it's got a craft pick on one end and the jewel picker on the other end which is like magical like you can pick them up pick up the sequins with this little I think it's wax I'm not really sure um, on the end and put glue down and the glue just pulls it right off the end of that like this works beautifully and I've tried other tools like this before and have not liked them but I love this one so that's going to complete my cards I will put the links to Patricia's stuff and the other things that I used below I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed I would appreciate it if you subscribed and click the bell to get notifications every time I upload a new video thank you so much for watching friends have a wonderful day Bye.